Welcome to Python for Atmospheric Science Sears. This tutorial will guide you step by step how to read data from a net CDF file and make animations like this one. Or read data from Excel files and plot them in charts. This introduction tutorial will guide you through all the installations we will need. First we have to download and install Python. Base map, the library that we will use for this chart is available for specific Python versions. I recommend Python 3.7, the link will be down below. You can choose the 32 or 64 bit version, but you have to remember which one because we will need it later. Save the file. I will continue the video after download. We will now continue with the download of PyCharm. PyCharm is a platform where we can write Python codes. If you want to learn more, you can visit the official webpage. We are going to download an older version of PyCharm. I personally use PyCharm 2018.3.3, but feel free to download whichever version you prefer. Again save the file, and I will continue the video after download. The link is down below. We will now proceed with the installations. We have to install first Python. You can check the add Python path in case you would like to use Python from terminal if you want to save some time. We will now continue with installing PyCharm. You can check to create a shortcut according your Python version, the other will not work. And again to add the path. Let's open PyCharm. In the complete installation window, leave the pre-check do not import settings and press OK. You can customize your PyCharm, but I prefer to leave mine as default. In PyCharm window press create new project. You can name your project whatever you like. I'll name mine tutorial. Open the project interpreter. You have to check the base interpreter if your Python location is correct. Change the location if you want to save your projects in another file. Some time is needed for the virtual environment to be created. Don't worry it is for only the first time. You can check the tip of the day. For now I'll press close. Press file, new scratch file, and then check Python. Now press view. Have the toolbar been checked? For having the settings available in the ribbon. Let's now install the libraries we will need. Press Settings. Go to your project. Project Interpreter. Wait until it loads and then press the plus button.
we will first install matplotlib. Write the name in the search box. Check the library and then press install package. Wait until it says installed. Do the same with numpy library. We will now download the base map wheel. You can just type download base map wheel. You get in Python extension packages for Windows and then search for base map. The link will be down below as always. Download the correct version for your Python. I'll continue the video after download. For base map to work, GIOS and PyProj are needed. We will proceed first with the installation of those two libraries. In PyCharm press terminal in the down left corner. And then type pip install GIOS. Do the same with PyProj. We will now proceed with the installation of base map. We will install it through the wheel we downloaded previously. In PyCharm's terminal type pip install the files path slash the name of base map wheel. Now let's start typing some code. First import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Next import numpy as np. And for our last library type. From MPL underscore toolkits dot base map, import, base map. We need the second one with capital B. As for the code type, M equals base map. M dot draw coastlines. And finally plt.show. Be sure that you haven't forgotten your parentheses in your code. Right click on scratch, then press run scratch. Here is your first simplest map. We are gonna work on this one to make the animations from the net cdf file or to plot the data from the excel file. Well done and thank you for watching the video.